Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Enigmatica 6. Expert, how are you guys doing today? How's life? We start today's episode in the nether because we're looking for these. Ancient debris. Oh, that is slow to mine. It was not supposed to be this anticlimactic. But oh, there's three of them. We are probably going to need a bajillion, so we're going to scan for them. Yes, so many. I missed a few. Our exploration in the nether has provided us with one stack and 17 ancient debris. A crusher is not gonna happen, we go with a pulverizer. I think netherite is going to be far more useful in the future, but I am going to upgrade my armor. It just looks cool. Huh? I look fancy. Hi cubby. Normally when you get a decent armor, you have to test it. So obviously always killing the dragon is something nice, but we are also looking for this. Thalassium, not dimensional short. So I also traveled to the end islands and there is something called a silk fiber. You get it from the mods, but I'm looking for the nest. There is no nest. Or maybe there was a nest and I broke it. Anyhow, we are looking for a bunch of items. Let us try and find them. Obsidian B, nice. Some of these crystals. Actually, we just vein mine. Oops. There is an ender bee inside. <laughs> I want him. Yes, yes, he's out. Come with me. There is an end city map. I found it in chest. I think it's on the other island. The problem is that I'm not really sure. Can I walk on these? There is only one way to find out. We shall see. We're not sinking. <laughs> but regardless, I don't trust it. Am I there? Oh, yes. We found it. Considering that getting a jetpack is incredibly difficult, I am assuming getting an elytra is not the worst. And I have not been prepared. Oh boy. <laughs> That's not good. I ender pearled. Um, where's the elytra? It's so nice that there are trees. <gasps> We're good. How did you know? It even has enchantments. I was planning on making a golden backpack and, well, there is one. Oh. That's why they put it there. Okay, we also take the wool. I hear phantoms. That's never good. A very successful journey. See you at the base. Oh boy, that was a lot of exploration. But we still have a lot more to do. Our next job is to go to the undergarden. I just love the particle effects. Thank you, thank you. And thank you for the quest. I just want to make a very small confession. I have never been to the undergarden and I have no idea what we should expect. The extent of my knowledge is this. The portal. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, see you in hell. Or heaven. Oh, this is heaven. It's nice. Dark and gloomy. So we are looking for... Oh, purple fluid. <laughs> so we are looking for a cold biome because we are looking for an ore called frost steel. Yes, this guy. Or you could have also made it with bliss powder. Couldn't find the bliss anyways. Is that deadly? Yep, poisonous. Hello, someone. I think I could not have spawned in a worse location. Can I go in the water? Yes. Do I want to go in the water? That's another question. So far so good. Uh, how would I know what is a cold biome? Are you friendly? Yes. Oh, you're also friendly. Oh, you get slowed down. Yeah, I know that one of the authors of this mod also made between lands, so I guess it makes sense. Frosty bee. Hello, beeper. Everything <laughs> wants to kill you. Forgotten Hall. Interesting. Oh, there are loots. Oh my goodness, that's big. And he breaks blocks. Okay. We should be careful. Anything of interest? Yes, yes, and yes. Oh my goodness, that is great. That is for teleportation, right? Yes, that's useful. I think I need to upgrade my sword because uh, we're not one-shotting anyone and that's not good. That was by chance. Ooh, greater band of mana. Uh, it's a good thing that we brought a good backpack. I have a feeling <laughs> this is a cold biome, but there's also another dungeon. So let us go in. We take you out first. You know, I have Warpal, so sometimes I kill them fast, sometimes it takes hours. From a looting perspective, this is a nice place. Well, we have found the ores, not the ones that we're looking for. I did find a few, and wow, it's not rare. <laughs> okay, 
Because, you know, I just found a vein with five and I was like, maybe they're rare. It's like iron. So I guess I get a few stacks and I'll see you back at the base. Okay, I am back. But before we start crafting, there are a few things that I need. This is a roguelike dungeon made out of casings. So we're going to take as much as we can. This is such a nice place. I've never seen this room. But this should be a decent amount. We also need a decent supply of obsidian. So the first item that we need to start crafting is concrete. We need it in order to make a few machine frames. So that is clay, gravel and slag. And I'm assuming instead of extracting it using a bucket, we can use a faucet? Mm, no. Well, you take out the water. <laughs> it's just a weird recipe to annoy you, but basically you have to make liquid concrete and then press it down into a block. That gives you one. I'm sorry, I refuse to do something which I think it's very stupid. So what we're going to do is that we're going to make a fluid transposer encapsulator as well as a magma crucible. Thank you, you haven't changed your name. And some light gray concrete. I'm also going to waste half a stack of my compressed iron. And we're going to work on another crazy recipe, which I also don't really understand. Essentially, we need to melt down the compressed iron, infuse it with light gray concrete, which takes a bajillion hours. And that will give us the reinforced stone from pneumatic craft. We are going to convert those guys into slabs and by using one pressure pipe, we should be able to make a charging station. We will also make one engineer's crafting table. There you go. And we're literally just going to trade with him. The other guy is from pneumatic craft, gives you blocks of compressed iron. Don't mind if I do. You better sell me concrete. Otherwise you're redundant. Yes, you do. Good. You sell transistors, <laughs> you're just amazing. Okay, I might have a few ideas with villagers, but let us finish what we started. The reason that we needed concrete was to make leaded concrete, which is going to be used in making PT machine frames. That is four, perfect. Sometimes when you're playing Minecraft, you make stupid decisions. I would like to mention this is not one of them. Cause have you seen how blocks look in this mod pack? This is iron, then you have gold, diamond is just terrible, and well, the alternative would have been emerald which is not so good. Oh and by the way, this is my garden, this is not the base. Anyways, let us get down to business. We need the blueprint for components so that we can make mechanical parts so that we can advance. Me and Kobe think that in every single mod pack where you change most of the recipes, you should include a quest book so that people will know where to go. And thankfully, we have a quest book in this mod pack. So we want to get into pneumatic craft. What do we do? We get compressed iron. Fair enough. Then we need to make a pressure chamber. Fine. But when you check, you can't make it because you need advanced PCB which technically requires you to have the blueprint for components that's actually what we're looking for that's why we're here we can't make it okay let us skip a quest and see what we need in order to make air pressure oh air compressor nice oh it's disabled in expert mode oh but there is also a liquid compressor nice uh advanced PCB so yes do not follow the quest book isn't that correct copy don't waste my time so what can we do? Well, I checked the JEI and it seems the only compressor that we can make is the thermal one, which ironically also needs PT machine frames, which needs the mechanical components. So if you don't get it as a quest reward, I don't know how you're supposed to do that. Eh, we needed some Constantan plates. I have already purchased a ton of coils, so this should be easy peasy. I hate making wires. That should give us thermoelectric generators from immersive engineering. We need to press it down into thermo plates. Oh, this is from power. Interesting. And after a bunch of crafting, we can make four compressors. So this is like the thermoelectric generator from immersive engineering, meaning that we need some sort of a cold block and a very hot block so that the temperature difference is going to make air pressure. What did I do? Oh, they all come with a security upgrade. That is good to know. That means that it's never going to explode. As I have already mentioned, we are looking for some sort of a hot block. This will do. We take some home. Oh, your gilded blackstone. Why do you look so bad? Oh, okay, we can change it back. I have also checked silk touch with tinkers is not going to happen. So for a cold block, I think we can just use snow. Maybe, I'm not sure. I have never used this block. That is a decent supply of snow. Now that I'm thinking, you can actually operate a thermoneumatic processing plant with lava. Maybe you don't need air pressure. 
but it's not ideal and it's incredibly slow and grindy. So here is the thermoneumatic processing plant. We need some pressure tubes and let us see if this is something that we can actually run. So I'm guessing red is hot, maybe not. Are you making pressure? Oh yes. Okay, okay, sorry. I don't see any pressure anywhere. Oh yes, it's making it very slowly. It's a good thing we have four. Yeah, you see? The thermoneumatic processing plant works with heat. Or is it pressure? Yeah, it does work with heat. So we are going to need a vortex tube and a heat sink. We want it to be hot. So this side should be for the thermoneumatic processing plant. There you go. And this side we want it to lose heat. So heat sink goes here. Yeah, temperature is rising. Very good, very good. We will add one more compressor. This should go faster, I hope. Not really, you're doing worse. Oh, you consume the snow. <laughs> okay. What a jerk. I don't really care. We just need it for one recipe and that's it. Oh my goodness, you are an absolute jerk. It even destroys magma blocks. So you need water and you need the lapis. You also need air pressure and you need more water. I don't know. These are custom recipes. I didn't make them. Well, I think our air pressure is not enough. So yeah, I had to go and bring more pressure tubes and obviously more snow. Yeah, pressure is garbage. I disconnected the vortex tube so that we get two bars of pressure because otherwise we were not getting there. The temperature is dropping really fast, but uh, then I'll connect it once we reach two bars. Yes, we are. And we fell down. <laughs> oh, but we got it. Nice. I think we just got it in one second. That's perfect. We needed that stupid thing just for one single recipe, one upgrade matrix and one book. Uh, I forgot to bring coal. Can I put bamboo? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally have the engineer's blueprint for crafting components. That's not a quest. Really? Okay, what we need to make at this very moment is the logic circuit from Immersive Engineering. We can use it in order to make an advanced PCB from Pneumatic Craft. The recipe itself is not that bad, but I'm a bit confused about the logic circuit. What I do understand is that we do need vacuum tubes. We also need the circuit backplane. I don't know, let us get eight. That goes inside an engineer circuit table and apparently it needs power with some wires and vacuum tubes. It's fine. We take a dynamo. That's not how you get RF. Ah, it's in the back. I didn't know. Oh, and nice. When you break it, it destroys your input. It's fine. I just want to try it. Uh, we don't need that much. So again, wires, circuits and vacuum tubes. I'm assuming it can be anything, right? Yeah, because it says logic circuit. This is a logic circuit. I made one. <laughs> So I guess let us see if we can make an advanced PCB. So here is the moment of truth. Let us see if it actually works. Logic circuit not found. Question is, can I do this manually? Yes. Advanced PCB. Okay, now at least we know how to make the good compressors. Now that we have access to mechanical components, I went up ahead and made our latex processing unit. And uh, forgive me about this scaffolding. I was running out of blocks. So I essentially used all the blocks that I brought from Autumn. It looks weird, I know. But essentially how it works is that we have fluid extractors, which this one is not getting power for some reason. Oh, it has it. No, it's fine. I will fix it later on. But we do have our fluid extractors. We have a latex processing unit, which is getting latex and water through a pump from Create. And everything is being powered by Xnet. Xnet itself did not have any complicated recipes. You know, it's literally everything that we already had. The only expensive part would be to make the advanced connectors because of this guy. Otherwise, we were good. We have unlocked the pump from mechanism and we can use it, but I was not sure how much power it's going to make, how much water it's going to extract. This is why I'm going with a hose pulley and a pump from Create. And I really wanted to test this system because we need to do it next episode in order to generate lava for our compressors. Some of you were also suggesting that we go with arboreal extractors from Thermal Expansion, which yes, sorry, I missed it. But in any case, I would not have used it because it needs a tree next to it. This one is just a log. And I think just before we wrap up today's episode, let us do something. I did make a few more advanced PCBs and I have also been making some rubber, yes, and signalum. Signalum was for Xnet, we don't need it. Basically what I want to see is that can we make two liquid compressors? Just two to get started. This pack takes microcrafting to a whole new level. <laughs> you have no idea how much this took me. Hardened integral component. You should really try this mod pack and try to craft something. Here is our first liquid compressor. And I'm also thinking instead of making another liquid compressor, let us knock out a bunch of quests. Uh, we make the pressure chamber, the valve, and we need two interfaces. Perfect. So the question is, what do you give me? Oh, two PCBs. That's not bad. They are a pain to craft. And bricks. 
volume upgrade. Normally when I'm making a video, I edit as I go along, so I know when it's about 20 minutes and then I stop. But whenever I have a very long montage to make, I get lazy and I don't edit it. And then I will start to guess that is it 20 minutes? Has it been longer? Has it been less? Well, this episode felt like something around 25 minutes, but uh, you might notice we're at minute 15, which is obviously not enough. Oh, food. So here is what we are going to do. We are going to do the project that I wanted to do originally. You might be asking yourself, Lush, what the hell is that project? I will tell you. First, we need to gather some resources. Oh, and by the way, this is not the resource gathering part. I just wanted some casings. This is gathering resources, and we need a lot. Not for the project that I want to do at this very moment, but in general, because we run through copper like crazy. I should get a copper bead. Anyways, I will do an hour of mining or so, and I'll meet you back at the base. I am back from mining, and this is the project that we're going to work on infinite lava. We need to make it more accessible, so I wanted to install a ladder, and well, in order to make a ladder from engineer's decor, which looks nice, uh, we need flux. So I thought let us get it over with. We just need one batch anyways. I have been making some aluminium rods. Good. It's not much, but you know. Yeah, we might need to do that more than once. Uh, I cannot make a flux block. Cause you know, the crazy recipes. But it is perfectly fine. I can have my ladder. Oh, that was a quest? Okay. See you in a bit. If you're wondering what the hell happened to my experience, well, I banked it. Definitely I did not fall down the ladder. Twice. It's a horrible ladder. <laughs> so as I have already mentioned, we are going to do this using create. I know it's facing the incorrect way. We want to pump up, but uh, this is why I have the ladder. I can configure things on the way up. I should be able to reconfigure everything once I'm done. So I was checking how many stress units a pump requires and apparently it's a lot. It's almost 250 something. So we cannot use water wheels, we're going to use a windmill. I'm not a fan of these sails, so we are going to make a tower around it and hide it. But at this very moment, it's generating us 3000 stress units. And it's not even complete. When it is complete, it's almost 3.6. It's more than enough for us, I just want to know if we can make it taller. Just a bit. 4096. <laughs> I can't really complain. Standing over a lava lake is always incredibly satisfying, I guess. I think the pulley itself is at the bottom. And yes, we are getting lava. Yes, yes, yes. It's going up. Uh, you can see it in the pipes. And if nothing has gone wrong, which I think there has. Yeah, it's still coming up. Okay, it takes a bit of time. Anyways, I was going to say if nothing has gone wrong, we should get some lava inside the tank. Oh yeah, we're getting lava. It's not fast. You know, all of my problems would have been solved if I could have made an ender tank, but unfortunately, that's really not gonna happen anytime soon. Kangaroo hide. Didn't know that's a thing. Obviously, we could have also used the mechanical pipe from mechanism, but I think at least this one looks nicer. And obviously, the reason that we need to use lava is to have power. Using magmatic dynamos, these guys consume lava and they generate RF. We couldn't have made it until today because it does require a fluid cell and yes, it does require rubber. We are starting with 6, but I think we're going to go with 10 because next episode we actually have to start spamming machines. Because I did discover a recipe which is, uh, well, really worrying. Let me enlighten you with a bit of darkness. Do you see this? Medium machinery schematics. Unlocks the ability to form the following structures. Automated engineer's workbench, excavator, fermenter, mixer, pump jack, basically most of the machines that we are going to need. So it's a good thing, but how do you make it? Oh. You need a box. It's called Engineer's School Project. Uh, well, I'm going to ignore the fact that it's going to need an Amadron tablet, but let us look at the recipe. We need a few material, and let us look at this one. Building material. It's nothing too complicated. We just need a cardboard box, treated wood, treated wood, treated wood, copper shingles, and framed glass. The problem is, I have to do this 500 times. And I need 5 of these boxes, and that's already 10,000 treated wood. I'm basically giving you a discount on copper shingles and framed glass. But wait a minute, it gets much better. There is a crazy recipe where I need 60 enchanted golden apples. Uh, that's not the recipe, obviously. This is the recipe. That's 240 blocks of arcane gold, which is relatively expensive. So you guys get the idea. Basically, our job is to start making singularities using create. Anyways, it is what it is, and we're going to start working on it next episode. But before we actually wrap up the episode, there are a few things that we have to do. You might notice that in order to make arcane gold, we are going to need a decent amount of soul shards. We can kind of sort of automate it using a spawner, I have been to the end, so I can make a sealed touch book. But I think getting the reaper's sight is going to be much more fun. 
Besides, I can have Looting 7 on it, it's going to be amazing. We have a teeny tiny bit of research to do in Eidolon in order to discover all the chants, but we do need the magic workbench. And now that we have been to Autumn, we have linen. How can you not find linen carpet? This inventory panel is not very smart. So here is the magic workbench. We put you over here. Would be amazing if we find a witch's hut. He's gonna teach us the first chant. Are you done? Thank you, thank you. Yes, we have the wicked sign. You're redundant. I need some cocoa beans. Because for some very weird reason, in order to make the wooden altar from Eidolon, we need brown stained plank. That is from Quark. I am telling you, this inventory system is incredibly stupid. <laughs> you have to do most of the things manually. We need a straw effigy. There is no way in the world that we can make candles. But we should be able to have a few bits and pieces. I have a warped fungus, a skull, and obviously one lantern. We chant. I forgot, is this the good sign or the bad sign? Yeah, it's the bad sign. We didn't learn anything new. We try in the morning and see what happens. Please love me. Darkness is a jerk. It's okay, you get the gist. I have to get lucky. Considering the crazy amount of resources that we're going to need from next episode, we might as well also get into bees. If you guys remember, on episode 1, I said that we need to get into magic first, because bees are gated behind nature's aura. And this is what we want. Brilliant fiber. Also, earlier this episode, I said we need silk fiber. <laughs> That's why we needed that. So we take the brilliant fiber and we infest the leaves. You're a golden leaf and you have been infested. It seems to be like silkworms, so we have to wait for it to spread. And we should also make a note that we should not put it on mahogany. Because, you know, both of the leaves are yellow. You can't tell the difference. I have never played with nature's aura. How long does it take to spread? It's okay. For testing purposes, I just need one. And we get gold powder. Uh, we need some of these. And we also needed a nest. He didn't like it. So generally how it works is that we have to make the tier 1 beehive and work our way up to tier 4 then make the apiary. The recipe for these guys have been disabled and if we want to obtain them, we need to make these upgrades. The upgrades are also tiered, but I did notice that in order to make the tier 4 hive upgrade, uh, you can just use any nest. Aren't you supposed to work? It's okay, I thought we can cheat. Or maybe it's just confused, cause it's telling you that you can buy a tier 4 apiary from a beekeeper. It is perfectly fine, we can start from the bottom. So I just put a nest down and upgrade you. Oh, you look ugly. These guys are spreading. Nice. Uh, we have enough resources in order to get a tier 2 beehive. Well, the upgrade, not the beehive itself. Now this is the beehive. And I guess from now on, we have to grind. Although this is not that bad. What's the fourth one? Also not that bad. I just visited our beekeeper and I bought half a stack of bee wax. Uh, we also need some honey blocks and for that, I'm literally gonna cheat and take it from here. There should be something inside. Yes. So essentially I can take our tier 2 beehive, upgrade it to tier 3. Yes. And then upgrade you to tier 4. Yes. Can I go to an apiary? Oh, we're missing one. Don't you worry. There are some left. Apiary tier 1. Aha. Uh -huh. I was not expecting that. Yeah, the rest of the recipes are not that bad. Although I'm assuming the centrifuge is a little bit bad. It's okay. We would be able to manage it. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, bye bye.